Welcome to episode four. We've been Let's driving just get our this cars. fucking show on the road. We are, we're solving crimes, of course, because we are the police. And we're kicking ass and taking names, chewing gum, drinking milk, whatever. Mm hmm. Yeah, man. All right. Well, I'm not going to I'm going to I'm going to leave them to deal with that. The other cop there. You know, I'm not the only cop in this town. Other people can deal with. <laughs> there we go. Arrived safely. Yeah, there you go. Creating some some crime of your own. Um, yeah. Would you like a would you like a bit of a helping hand with with fucking Morgan? Yeah, sure. How, how about you buy me a drink for, for old time's sake? Oh, shut up, Roy. Because I, rem I remember you had a bit of uh, an annoying time with him. I did. I am. You know Frank Morgan? Season from hell. Sure. Frank's your regular. He's a loner in the back. Oh. Frank Morgan? Who's asking? Me. Cole Phelps, LAPD. I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. Damn right. Yeah, I know. Are you aware that he's missing? No, I hadn't heard that. Tough break. You're lying, Morgan. We found Black's car abandoned in a freight depot, covered in blood. You know anything about that, Morgan? Hell no. I, I, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian. He, He's a good no, boss. Please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk-off, Phelps. No, I don't at all. Look at his face. No, he's he lying. Looks like Mr. Trump. You're lying, Morgan. He's you got the same there. fucking pouty lips. He does, ass, yeah. Detective. How about you prove I was out at that rail yard? We got that. We got that receipt, don't we? I was we? gonna say. For that hog. Oh, for the hog. With yes. his name on it. Yeah. You were there, Morgan. With Mr. Morgan's. Make sure you read the description. I will yes. tell you. Call the slaughter yard and mail you on it. All right, already. That fool Adrian's fallen for some dame in Seattle. He yeah. Wanted me to make it look like he'd been attacked. Oh. Well, where is he now? Where exactly is Black Hold up? No idea. I think he took off for Seattle. Bullshit. But yeah, uh, it's not lie. It's uh, it's doubt this right, time. I'm gonna rough him up a little bit. Well, we take you out in the alley and we knock it out of you. He's holed up at my place. Why? Waiting for some money to come through before he blows town. Oh, and address, that makes sense. It's an apartment house at the corner of Temple and Figueroa. Apartment number two. Apartment number two. Thank you very much, Mr. Morgan. That's all. Thanks for your help, Morgan. We appreciate it. We'll hey, get on our way. I'm just glad I could help. I love cops. Shut up, Morgan. Let them go. Fat son of a bitch. No way I'm writing this idiot up. Um. Yeah, conspiracy. Ah, fucking yeah. He's a he's an uh, an accomplice. He is. I mean, I remember the first time we played this, and I was like, I don't really see what the crime is, because he didn't kill anybody. The only thing that died was a pig, and he was just planning hmm. on running away. Like, uh, uh, I suppose it does count as fraud because he was faking his own death. I met some pretty good liars yeah. in my town. Um, I did look it up, uh, like, faking your own death is one of these, like, weird ones where the actual act of faking, um, faking your own death isn't necessarily illegal, but all the acts that lead up to, um, faking your own death are illegal. So, in this case, for example, if this is more modern day, uh, he'd also probably get done for, like, animal abuse? Because he's straight up fucking bludgeoned a pig? That's in his true. car. Roger, you know, mm. um, so it, it's things like that. Like there, there isn't a good, healthy, fun, clean way of. Now, John, what did I tell you about trying you told to me drive through? I couldn't through drive things? through the fences, which I hate. I well, can't even I'm drive sorry, through the man. newsstand. I oh, know it's not your fault. I'm not blaming you at all. I just don't like it. Well. You, we learn and I we adapt, through? don't I can we? Run, I can run over an entire lamppost, right? Something that is structurally wired into the ground, but I can't run over a, like a bit of plastic or a bit of wiring that's holding up some magazines. Like that doesn't make any sense. Seven dear out of ten, sirs, not enough water. Dear sirs or madams, at Rockstar Gaming, 
What the fuck? Sincerely, John. <laughs> Dear John, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Sincerely, editor. Boys at Rockstar. Boys at Rockstar. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, right. you know I. Uh, you know it's just a bit. I hope it's just a bit. Oh, did you? Ten past one. Me. You, you know it's a bit. Let's check the place out. Yeah. Open up, bitch. It's the LAPD. Oh, wait. Something buzzed. <gasps> boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, there he is. Number two. two. Yep. That's You're not lying, place. Morgan. You're telling the truth, Morgan. Uh. <laughs> Aha! Numero dos. Oi, oi. Oh, you gentlemen? Yes. LAPD detectives, Mr. Black. You're under arrest. Oh, I gotta chase this guy too, don't I? I'm really sorry about this. I never tried. No, to I don't think you do. Do I just I crack him and then arrest him? From LA. No, look, he's from a soft boy. Place. Like. Let me get my things. No, see, he's like, let me get my things, and then he runs. I, I told you. To oh. Porky bastard. Gun's a last resort. There's no point running, Adrian. So I'm just gonna. Holy shit, he's fast. <laughs> hey, man. The pig must have not seen I wonder. Black, yeah. I wonder. I wonder how fast pigs can run. Genuinely. Yeah. I'm curious. What's the top speed for a pig? Editor Julian, what's the top speed for a pig? I was gonna say. I'm gonna guess. Uh, why the melodrama? 25 oh, miles an hour. No, it just got a wow. Harder. Yeah. I was going to go for something. I was going to go for like 15. We'll see what the DA 15 is probably good. I think maybe 25 is a bit of a stretch. You're gonna lose your wife, I bet I, I bet it's like a fucking like I, <laughs> I bet it's something ridiculous like 40. Like and just fucking just boom. Well, apparently if you that turned out to be if you release case, a huh? pig, Adrian. like a pig mm -hmm. that's been like reared on a farm, a a if you release it yeah. back into the wild, it will grow like too. more hair Good and tusks within like a couple of weeks, if not like a month. Yeah. Just like yeah, man. go fucking feral. Which is brilliant, I think. We should repopulate our wild boar population by just uh, releasing Up here, definitely. I don't know that you would necessarily. It would. They would just be wild pigs more than boars, wild boars, because yeah, yeah, yeah. they are. Although they're fr from the same family, I'm pretty sure they are slightly. Oh. No. Uh, would you like to skip the next case? No. Yeah. Uh, so those are like the the the. If we want to just play the vanilla game. I see. You know, these are oh, like DLC it's this cases. Oh, this chestnut. Yes. Well, what do you mean this old chestnut? You haven't seen this before. Oh, of course. No, this is all new. This is all new footage. Never heard of this. Who's the console? I wonder. <laughs> okay, we're gonna keep He's maybe from somewhere what? in South Asia. I, I didn't know. I didn't know they had consoles in like 1946. Yeah, man. It's the it's the console car. It's uh, Xbox have designed a car. It drives itself. <laughs> Microsoft was kicking around. That's the ultimate uh, conspiracy theory. Microsoft has been a company since 1869. Joey Motorola, you come here for your dinner now. Ah, I'm on to something. The Night of the Museum <laughs> films were great. The Pirates of the Caribbean mm. films were great. There's a... Oh, you just reminded me of something really cool. Um, there was a really cool Misfits episode Ooh. where um, there's a... I love that show, by the way such a good show um but there's a misfits episode where um there's like an old jewish guy oh yeah has like that. time travel powers and goes back in time to try and assassinate hitler yep but he dies yep and drops his phone yeah and the nazis like take and over. then and the nazis like take it and like study it and basically take over the world sounds yep. like there's more to it than that I mean, Although I don't know how, I mean, I don't know how plausible that would be because, like, I'm wondering if the technology would be 
way too foreign. They would just look at it and they would go like, don't know what's happening here. Maybe not for the Nazis and maybe not at that point in time. Like, because a lot of the reasons why, I mean, the entire wanna, reason you, why we were able to like go, go to the moon You want to be up top. Like I know. Um, the entire reason why we were able to go to the moon and build rockets and whatnot was because of the V2 and the V1 rockets. Like the Nazis mm. trying to think, how can we attack people from very far away? And eventually that was made into, hey, maybe we can send people into space. Uh, so yeah, I think, I think to an extent, like maybe not down to like the SIM card and stuff like that, but at least in terms mm. of the mechanics of it, like the electronics of it, they might have been able to figure out just enough to give them an edge. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. If we've got any, like, I don't know, engineers or something that watch this, like, um, why are you watching this? You should be doing something better with your time, but also thank you. And uh, what are your thoughts? Yeah. What you thinking? I wonder how many there. I wonder what percentage of PewDiePie's fan base are like young That's... professionals. Oh. Are what? <laughs> Nothing. Did you say Nazis? Are we going to go through this whole you, fucking? I thought that's where you were going, because you were like, because that's what I, we were talking about, and you were like, I wonder how many, yeah, beauty, how many PewDiePie fans are, dot dot dot, and I was like, where are you going with this? <laughs> I mean, there was the whole thing. Um, we got a call about an yeah. vehicle. Yes, sir. The I do not remember yeah. this thing, but I'm presuming people were accusing PewDiePie of being a Nazi. Yeah, uh, they were accusing of him of being a Nazi. He basically had to come out and be like, I'm not a Nazi, and ended up doing loads of, like... I mean, he does lots of charity work, which is crazy. Yeah. Like, the amount of charity work that he does is fucking mad. Like, um, all like you know, on... And this is kind of cool, what he did. So on YouTube, uh, on the Join tab, because he earned so much money from it anyway, um, that joint tab, it, all that money basically just goes to a charity. Like, none of it goes to him. Hmm. Um, it's pretty cool of him. Most people would be like, yeah, no, I'm going to I'm gonna take more and more and more money. So, more, 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 but yeah, he's done lots of, lots of good shit for charity, which has been kind of cool. But he ended up doing lots of, like, anti-racism charities kind Always of to, good to, to prove a point like yeah. guys i'm really not a nazi <laughs> yeah speaking of which it's holocaust memorial week so it is day even mm. we today we remember those who lost their lives and those who survived mm -hmm. fuck off i want to look at the flag ah Oh, maybe right get in a different angle, man. Yeah, I don't well, know. fucking know. I'm trying. Maybe. We'll... There we go. There you go. Now we know. Oh, no. Now we know. All right, the bats are relevant. This stuff's not. What's this? Oi, fuck off. Move out my way. It's the wrench. Damn right. You're damn right, it's a fucking bitch. Come on, thank you. Wrench, rather. Not a bench. It's a you can, you, it's you a couldn't, wrench. you couldn't you fucking sit on that. I mean, you could. Wouldn't be very comfortable, but. Um. Mm. Was there anything else before I had to go and speak to your man? Uh, use the phone no there's just loads of bottles and stuff in it no but there is like a notebook yeah the notebook's underneath, remember. underneath him hi you good you have a wee in chat fact, with the man it there he's he's sitting reading it as we speak <laughs> hmm let's have a look at all these boys here last night i was looking out of my window i like to keep an eye on what's going on i can understand that i remember this hating this long. guy damn kids Stickball here. Always breaking my windows. The fuck is stickball? I imagine like baseball, but looser. Patient, anyway, 
last night I see this brand like you don't have as much rules <laughs> it doesn't last three days yeah Did you see who stole the ball is a rock yes, and the stick is a stick <laughs> yep <laughs> uh, it's like medieval yeah, football Using the headlights I guess. of an old Ford so they could strip the thing. I yelled out to them, I'll call the cops. So they loaded up their car and drove off, tooting and hollering and yelling obscenities at me in Mexican. You speak Spanish, sir? No, I do not. Hmm. After the uh, Mexicans left, you didn't go anywhere near the car? After I scared them off? No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. See, I want uh, to hit doubt, but I think I need to it, hit it's lie. It's a doubt. It's a doubt, yeah. Okay. You want to hit doubt. That's 100% a doubt. Take a look for yourself. I was curious. Ain't a law against that. So what if I took a look around that car? Did you take anything from the car? Nothing? Huh? Who knows? Tell me about the car they were driving. <laughs> it was an old Ford. I didn't catch the license number. You look like the kind of guy who notices detail. You're right there. The car was old, but it looked brand new. Candy, Candy apple, apple red paint job. Stands, stands out a mile. mile. All right. What exactly did you see them take? They was working on the tires. That's all that was took. Mm. Uh, doubt. <laughs> yeah, it's. Oh, look at that face. It's a doubt. What did you take, Jacobs? You want my partner to pat you down? I found the notebook in the glove compartment. I was going to show you. It's on the chair on my porch. So it is. Thank you, Mr. Jacobs. Yeah. Why are you flicking through his shit, though? That's so weird. Well, you know. Just find out whose car it was, maybe. Even though it's got a big thing on it that says, hey, this belongs to the Argentinian embassy. How about we bring you an umpire's mat? All right. Let's have a look. Juan Francisco Valles. John Madsen. Okay, so we have the owner of the vehicle, a degenerate. Okay. John Madsen. By yes. Ride. And we give it a switch. And William Dewey. Contact details. Gabriel. This looks like business rather than pleasure. Gabriel. Angelic features, but feisty. Mmm. Feisty run, you are. <laughs> <laughs> run this place dry. Find a game well. Bounce on this boy's dick, you will. I want to buy him some of this bar. <laughs> what the fuck? I want to I wanna buy him some of this bar. Could you run the name Dewey Brothers? Possibly a dealership. That's disgusting. It's that's a, uh, a phrase they use in a f series that was called Dealer London Irish. That was very funny. All oh, right. I thought. Have, did you ever watch Daddy Girls? Yes. You know the handsome priest in Daddy Girls. Yes. He plays a very kind of like uh, mid twenties, sensible kind of waster sort of thing. Uh, well, certainly compared to his pal. And it's just about these four folk from Northern Ireland who live in London and how they kind of deal with it and what they get up to. And Phoebe Waller-Bridge uh, Phoebe Waller -Bridge is in it, in fact. The one who did Fleabag. She plays like a crazy mm -hmm. a crazy wannabe girlfriend. And there's quite a few faces mm -hmm. from Daddy Girls in it. It's a great series. London Irish, if anyone gets the chance. Go check it out. Cool. What is it? What is it with, like, British dramas making, like, Irish priests hot? <laughs> Why is that a trope? Well, because it's, uh, it's like forbidden, super forbidden fruit. Oh, right, okay. Uh, actually, yeah, I see it. I see it. For one thing... Uh, it adds way more tension, whereas if it's just an Anglican priest, it's like, yeah, it's still allowed. Exactly. Exactly. We'll yeah. But no one's no one's done a hot monk yet. No one's done like a hot friar. They should. 
I mean, most fryers have to be hot, otherwise they will do work. The <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you got five nice. seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. I gave him the ultimatum. I told him how long yeah. he had. He did not make it. And I cannot be blamed for my own partner's slow speed. I did not hit that pedestrian though, that was nice. That was good, that's unusual for you. Yeah. I mean, I try not to hit the pedestrians. If I can, I'll avoid driving on the pavement, but sometimes you just gotta. Mm. I feel you. Sorry, sir. Damn it! Oh. I love that fucking voice clip from, um... Oh, what is it? Happy Wheels. <laughs> like, every time when you pick, like, the dad and the son, the bike, <laughs> and every time the, the son just comes off the bike, he's just like, damn it! Damn it! <laughs> uh. Damn it! Damn it! Alright, let's watch as Bukowski just arrives. His name's not Bukowski, is it? It is. Is it? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Why? I thought I just plucked a name out of thin air that sounded... No! Me, let me guess. No! As in, you know, Charles Bukowski. LAPD, Mac. We'd like to speak with the owner. That's me, William Dewey, proprietor at your service. Shut up. We're investigating the theft of a Packard belonging to the Argentine Embassy. Are you missing a combination wrench? I don't know, detective. But I know how we can find out. Follow me. I don't trust him. No, you shouldn't. He sells cars. Sorry, yeah. I have been saying. I remember there was a guy... Uh, there was a guy I went to school with. Who... Like, really nice guy. He still is a really nice guy. But people were getting fucking sick of him on Facebook. Because he's a car salesman. So he was constantly selling cars on Facebook. That's all he did. On his personal Facebook. Like, got this sick deal on this fucking Prius. Like, you don't want to miss out. And it's like, bro. Fucking relax. Yeah. One left. You have a life. You have uh, kids. Oh my god. That's not right. You know? No, it's not right. That's why I didn't want to. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. Like, don't use your personal Facebook to try and hawk cars, bro. Set up like a <sighs> just a... set up like a different thing, surely. Yeah. Don't do it at all. Nothing significant. If I had a hammer. Hey, I do. I would hammer in the morning. I would hammer in the evening. All over oh. this land. Was that vibrating because I hit? No. This is a Oh. Oh, okay. No. Oh. There's a nice pair of pliers there. You can check them out. I don't think they're what we're looking for either. Oh, we should, uh, we should 100% grab that and file it away. <laughs> It's a file, John. Well, I'm certainly glad you can't see my face. Oh, it's a file. I'm glad I can't see your face either. I don't know Valdez. The embassy bought the car. Uh oh. I don't remember. Oh, I can I can help you. What? Right. Well, first of all, what does your gut tell you before you press anything? And then I can. Yeah, your gut is. On the right lines. So we, but you want to go lie. one step further. He's lying. And I know a shyster when I see one. You and Valdez are in this together. Me and Valdez? I hardly know him. Valdez wouldn't wipe his shoes with me. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? We want... We found your contact details in yeah. Valdez's notebook. He had to be calling you for something, do we? Yeah. Okay. So I met Valdez in a bar. We cut a deal and he bought the car through the embassy. Nice. I cut him some change on the side. It happens nice. all the time. Sure. Well, Where sure, buddy. Delgado? I don't know. It sure as hell isn't here. 
what's your mm. what's your gut telling you? Doubt, because he's not lying. Because he's you not should go with your gut then. Address, Dewey, or my partner shoves her head in a car door. Okay, all right. Apartment three one zero three Hill Street. Thank you. And tell him from me. No. If he ever shows his face around here again, I'm gonna kick his butt from here to Kingdom Come. Like, unless somebody is a personal friend of mine, if they ask me to relay a message, a I probably from won't. Dealership was used to strip the <laughs> from a Packard last night, Mr. Dewey. Especially not one like that. Tell him for me, I'm going to kick his ass. No. <laughs> Tell him yourself. <laughs> I'm just trying to do my job. Uh-oh. What's your gut telling you? I think he's telling the truth, just by the look in his face. Hmm... No, you're way off. He's lying. No, you're still... No, you're still a little bit way off. He's doubting. I need to doubt Yeah. Him. I think you should doubt him. What are you hiding, Dewey? Spill it. You don't want the LAPD getting too interested in this place. Yeah. Why do I hire a few illegals? It's Don't call them that. Hiring returning GIs I mean, they are. Attitude. Wow. Yeah, I know, but... Is, they're a little light pink. I mean, he shouldn't be calling them that, but they are illegal. Thank That's you for true. Your help, Mr. They have entered the country illegally. No problem. God yeah, damn that looking for something better, sale. you know? Mm -hmm. And you have to remember as well that America fucking took over mm -hmm. loads of their country. Mm -hmm. Something we forget. Yep. California ain't yours, buddy. We remember the Alamo, but we don't remember what it was about. Huh. <laughs> Um, yeah, we'll deal By with By the them. way, uh, American viewers, like, oh, don't, don't take what we're saying too seriously. If yeah. you are ultra patriotic, just fucking so relax. Yeah. Check yourself. Yes. You know? Because nobody's... Like, I'm going to be... I'm, yeah, exactly. I will gladly criticize uh, his, uh, Scotland's history as much as the next Englishman, right? But I criticize any, any history. I criticize really? a lot of history. We both do. Mm -hmm. Because people made some really stupid and horrible decisions in the past. Yeah, and people did horrible, good things. They were just people stupid. did terrible and if things. If they weren't stupid, they were probably horrible. But usually, they were a mixture of the both. Mm -hmm. Do I have time to go for a dispatch call? You only got three minutes, Sonny. I don't know. Well, if then we... no. I think maybe we should get to the next bit. I think you're right. You ready for right, where are we you heading this? Delgado residence? Sick turn, sick turn. Oh, that oh, was man, we're going sick. Back to the, we're going back to the station. Oh, we're going to the station. Okay. Because we got to talk to your man. Sorry. To be fair, I've not hit any pedestrians. I have smashed up a lot of cars, but I've not hit a single pedestrian. True. Apart from the one in maybe a few episodes ago. But. I think we'll probably do this interrogation and we'll probably have to call it. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Figures. Oi. About time. Are you the senior officer I requested? I mean, I'm an officer. I'm Detective Phelps, and this is Detective Bukowski. Have you any idea how long I've been waiting to speak with you? Four hours. You back at the consulate, and you keep me here like a common criminal. Oh, yeah, well. Friend, let's take a deep breath and start all over again. Mr. Baldes, Fucking typical Argentinian. <laughs> Sorry, I have I, uh, I have a very low opinion of my own countrymen, to be honest. I mean, like, I individually, good, but, like, see the people that are in power? Fucking disgust. Oh. Mm. Mm. Um, maybe that's just... Um, so, what was this, the Packard? Yes, I think he's lying. Mm. Mm, yeah, yeah, it's, maybe lie is a bit strong. About a Packard? Valez, a snob like you doesn't drive an American car. I want to yeah, you exactly. smack you around the teeth. Yeah, he's got a good point. William Dewey offered me a substantial bribe to make a purchase at his establishment. It is not unusual to make this kind of transaction in the civil service. Oh, really? Tell that to the Argentine mm. taxpayers. Hmm. Yeah. Officer General, we have located your car. Can you tell us how it was stolen? It oh. must have been stolen from the council garage. Terribly inconvenient, of course. I want the perpetrator soundly flogged. 
This is a lie. Unfortunately, we don't do that here, Your mm. as, as, Again, lie is still a little bit too strong. You have a pretty good idea who stole the car. I mean, listen, we both hate him, but we need to play him. You gotta play him. No play him right. Violence. I suspect a disgruntled boy from your car dealership. Oh. You have a name for this kid? A boy. Gabriel, like the archangel. I have no surname. I thought his surname was Valdez. Hey -oh. So tell us about the hey. Gabriel. You had a run in with him? Mm. A presumptuous young man who did not know his place. He presumed to ask me questions. We do a lot of presuming here in the United States, Consul General. Hmm. Comes with the turf. I think he's lying. <laughs> yeah, he definitely is lying. Look at him. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Danny ben is your name secretly Peter File Valdez? I'm, I'm Peter File. <laughs> I'm Peter File. <laughs> so oh, watch the IT code Jim. if you haven't. Yes. I can do it uh, already. Do. Beautiful but impertinent. Just like my ex-wife. Yeah, well, you shouldn't be fucking minors, Valdez. That's a good point. <laughs> At this point, like... Don't care about your sexual orientation. Child is not a sexual orientation. Can we just be clear? Yes. Child isn't a gender. <laughs> We're pretty clear on that. Okay, well, yeah. as Bukowski said, let's uh, wrap this up. Yes, and with We've that truth bomb of, of, of uh, child isn't gender, um, <laughs> we'll see you all next time. Be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, follow us on social more media. Uh, share the video to your grandmother, unless your grandmother's an LA cop. Um, um, or, and, yeah. and if if you have any LA cops in, in the family, don't 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 we don't want the FBI fucking raiding our houses. No, nor the CIA snooping on us. No, so, uh, no, no. We'll see you next time, folks. All right, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Part timers, we do this part time. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe.